Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Right, no messing about. Dazone. What did I tell you all two years ago? Nobody listened. They're all trying to say, Oh, Porky, he's only gone downhill because it's virus. No, no, no. It's gone downhill for the simple reason that people have been milking it and it's been going downhill ages. That's why they were propping shows up with pound for pound Logan Paul against pound for pound KSI. It's a fight, Coog. It's a fight, Coog. Come on. Billy Joe Saunders, world champion on undercard. What were they doing? Who did they sign? Hey. Tommy Coyle on Dazone carrying shows. Come on. Hey? You're talking to me? You're talking to Big P. We don't prove any of that nonsense. It's uh... Tevin Farmer, Jesse Vargas and Mikey Garcia getting six and seven times their best ever purses. It's all very well when you're using other people's money, in it? Eddie Hearn doesn't use his own money, but he's took his cut out of all that does own money and he's heading for the hills. You heard what he said. Well, it's not to do with me that now. He's headed for the hills and I told all you gimps from Gimpville Island. I told you all, I shook up the world, I told you. And you all said, Porky, you're a hater. You're a hater, Porky. You're a hater. Now listen, I told you all, I told you all that you just won't listen, would you? You wouldn't listen. I told you all, I shook up the world, I told you all. You won't listen. You had that gimp Frank Smith from Matchroom going on AFL, papering over cracks. It's all crap, it's all rubbish. Look, it's boxing, it's a business. These people are confidence tricksters. They're there to take the money and go. This game is about money. It's about money, that's what it's about, money. They get in, they take the money, they get out. And along the way, this spinner's a load of bullshit. That's what it is. Look, when Michael Watson got injured, right, he was on a Barry Hearn show. They ran for hills, didn't they, the Hearns then? Chris Eubank Senior. Right, he was a world champion for years, only five years, but who did he really beat? He beat three former world champions, three former champions he beat at super middleweight, and at middleweight he beat one champion in Nigel Benn, the WBO, that weren't even recognised then. The British Boxing Board of Control didn't even recognise it. It's about money. This game's about money. Eddie Hearns found a niche to get in with some billionaire Russian guy and relieve him of his readies. He's a genius. Do you think Eddie Hearn cares about Dazone? No. Then people are done now. He'll move on now. He'll come back to England with his tail between his legs and say, well, we had a good, didn't we? And, you know, virus. It weren't virus. No, it wasn't the virus. You were paying people astronomical amounts of money knowing that you, you had every fighter more or less on the show and you were creaming it. You took their money and you're back with your tail between your legs. You've got to admit it, Eddie. You've got to stop lying to yourself, right? You've got to stop this charade. It's a charade. You relieve them of their reddies. Well, he likes a few quid. Well, we all like a few quid, don't we? But it's how you go about it. Well, there's going to be a knock-on effect now. So all you little small people that have been hanging out the back of Eddie Earn. Well, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do now, eh? All this about shows going on in July at his, at his dad's offices in Garden where they used to where he grew up and all that. That's not a done deal. It's not even rubber stamp bike board yet. It's not a done deal. What it is, it's salesmanship. He's a salesman, isn't it? He's selling you a false dream. He's trying to sell a Jaguar to you, but it's a Mondeo. That's what's going down. Trust me, that's what's going down. And 
Looks like BT is struggling as well, don't they? Their share price, share price is going. The landscape is changing. People are scrambling for cover. Look at these small old people now. What are they going to do? They've all been hanging out. Look at the certain promoters. Small hall. Small. S M all. Small. The certain small people, whether the trainers, managers, promoters, are all in one. They've been hanging out the back of Eddie Hearn and sticking it to everybody else. Oh, we don't want to work with Warren. We don't want to work with Hobson. We don't want to work with Hennessy. And what are they going to do now? They're at the mercy now of Eddie Hearn. These people will be getting told, look, you, you're getting paid this much or you're free to go elsewhere. They're in bed with him now, aren't they? We know who they are, don't we? All them people that have been rimming. Because there's been a lot of rimming going on, haven't we? We know, we know what we're on about, don't we? Every time Eddie Hearn puts a tweet out, somebody else retweets it. Some of the retweets I've seen and replies to him and people sending him tweets. It's, it's been shocking. People send me them all the time. I've, I'm not on Twitter, but I get sent all the stuff, so I don't even need to, to get on it again now, do I? Now that we can't. Point I'm making is this. The boxing landscape is changing. People have been paid millions of pounds to fight on Dazone. Millions of pounds. And Eddie Earns creamed it. He's creamed his bit. While in middle of playing everybody, he's playing Saudis with Newcastle United, he's playing Dazone against Sky. They're creaming it. He's now dictating to Sky about where they're putting shows on. Sky are in bed with him. And he's not a boxing man, he's a money man. He's torpedo in boxing. Sky, Dazone. The man's like Taz, he just leaves a trail of destruction wherever he goes. Yeah, people have made a few quid, but there's only less than 2% of people eating in box and all the rest of them can't pay the bills. But does he care? He don't care, does he? He don't care, he's got the EIS up here, the conveyor belt. Sky giving them the platform. He's nearly finished them, hasn't he? Come on, have you seen what they're serving up now? Take Anthony Joshua out of Sky, what's left? What about that next gen carry on? Oh my god! Dazone, it's torpedo Dazone, hasn't he? <laughs> what about that 10 year plan he had for Dazone? It's torpedoed! It was torpedo once he started putting Logan Paul and KSI on. But nobody, nobody, nobody wanted to. Uh, nobody wanted to listen, did they? All the gimps from Gimpville Island, nobody were listening. Nobody was listening. Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe Saunders on undercard. Come on, where's Billy Joe Saunders heading now, Eddie Earn? Where are they all heading? They're all scrambling for cover. And like I said, everybody wants to do a podcast now, don't they, on YouTube? Hey, they all want to copy Boxing Asylum and people like me and other people, other channels, UFC TV and Ultra Tech and... You know, what's Hatman and Sporting Icons saying about this? What, what are they saying? They're Eddie Hearn's mouthpieces, aren't they? What are they saying? Because, from, from, what, from what I gather, they're trying to paper over the cracks. They're the people hiding behind the camera, aren't they? Hatman and Sporting Icons. They're going to be pushing the Eddie Hearn narrative now, aren't we? Aren't they? Oh my God! Oh my God, what's happened? I've just told you what's happened. It's Skid Row for Eddie Hearn and the landscape's, landscape's changing. Look, Eddie Hearn will bail out boxing when Joshua's gone. When Joshua's gone, he'll go. And then we can all we can all just carry on as normal then, can't we? And say, well, he did his best. He got in, got a few, loads of millions and got out. He don't care about boxers. He don't care about fans. He cares about money. And I've been telling you people that for two year now on this channel, two and a half year, but it is what it is, isn't it? All right. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing.